It sits stranded like a giant wounded animal all through the morning, bleeding its cargo of North Slope crude at a rate of 20,000 barrels an hour. By this afternoon, the Exxon Valdez had leaked 265,000 barrels of oil into the waters of Prince William Sound. At more than 11 million gallons, it's the largest spill in the 10-year history of the pipeline system. The oil is so thick on the surface that ice from nearby Columbia Glacier turned black. It was apparently the same ice the captain of the tanker was trying to avoid when he swerved from the normal sea lane. The Alieska pipeline terminal was closed to tanker traffic as efforts turned towards cleaning up the spill. The tanker's sister ship, the Exxon Baton Rouge, cleared its own tanks to take on 400,000 barrels from the Valdez. Hopefully that will take some of the pressure off uh, the Exxon Valdez and we'll be able to uh, get her off the reef itself and possibly put down divers to see the extent of the damage. But many are more concerned about damage to Prince William Sound. This is the time of year killer whales return. The Sound is also home to large populations of sea otter and sea lions. Fortunately, the spill occurred between fishing seasons. And as long as the weather cooperates, the oil will continue to move towards open sea. It has yet to wash up on area beaches. Still, environmental officials are preparing for the worst. We've got local support on bird cleanup, should that be a, a necessity. And so we've got everything in line. If the weather holds and we can do, uh, we can do our job, well, that's, that's the best we can do. For 10 years, tankers have sailed these waters without a major spill. Environmentalists have warned about it. Fishermen have feared it. On Good Friday in 1964, the town of Valdez was washed from the map under a giant tidal wave. 32 people were killed. Now, 25 years later, another disaster. This one caused by a giant tanker bearing the town's name. An eerie reminder that sometimes the best of planning is not enough to prevent disaster.